sticking close to home for my next review. It's the Hinch 10 year old blended Irish whiskey with the sherry cask finish. Stick around to hear my thoughts. What's up whiskey lovers? I'm Big Al and this is Whiskey Straight where I review whiskies from all over the world and give you my thoughts straight up and not watered down. So today, as I said in my intro, I am keeping it pretty local to me and reviewing a whiskey from a distillery which is just newly formed that's just literally a few miles down the road from me and the whiskey today is as you can see the Hinch Irish whiskey aged 10 year old now it's triple distilled and it's sherry cask finished and it is a blended whiskey now what do they say about this in the bottle it says it now first of all this is from their time collection it says the whiskey that understands time time waits for no man said nobody at hinch distillery company because it is the passage of time and patience that is needed to work its magic the marriage of triple distillation and a maturation process that captures the unique union of spirit and wood imparting flavor like no other now if we flip it over it gives us a little bit more information. Perfectly matured over time, an American oak, our gently maturing whiskey blend is finished in the finest Oloroso sherry casks from Jerez, finished for a minimum of six months. The process enhances the golden liquid's outstanding character and flavor. Now, I had planned to just restrict uh, my series in Irish whiskey uh, to January, but when I saw this bottle last week, I thought I'm going to have to pick it up and let you guys know about it because it's a fairly new whiskey and there's not really been very many reviews out there of it. So a wee bit about the Hinch Distillery first. So it's just a few miles down the road from me and they also do uh, other bottlings. Now that includes a small batch bourbon cask, a single pot still, a peated, uh, single malt and then obviously this one here now if you're into gin at all they also do one called the ninth wave gin but it's not really my thing although the occasional bottle of gin is purchased because I have to stay on the right side of Mrs Al so this particular bottling is a uh, bottled at 43% ABV so Let's just get right into it and see if it really has got that flavour and character that they proclaim on the bottle. And we'll start off with the nosing. Slauncher. Right off. Pretty clear, pretty apparent that this is sherry. It's light and it's fruity. The sherry just does shine through. And if you've been watching my videos uh, recently or for any length of time at all, you, you will know that I do like my sherry finishes. So Now, that light fruitiness, it presents itself as red berries. And when I say that, it's it's like, it does come through a wee bit more, the more you nose it. And it's like some of those berries have been mashed to release even a wee bit more of the aroma and flavor. Now we're getting into lightly toasted oak notes. A bit of wood. And then there's a nice refreshing vanilla aroma comes through that. It was nice here coming in on the end of that with those flavours or aromas which are still nice and light but fruity and fresh is a honey note and and with that there's it's a bit biscuity and it's like a biscuit crumble uh, which has been like a honey biscuit crumble uh, and it's it is indeed a very nice nose even though it does with all those flavours remain fairly light. 
So let's get right on into the palate and see what it tastes like. Sláinte. Boom. Nice big burst of sherry flavour there again. And there's, there's a not insignificant amount of initial heat that comes with it either. It's like a sizzling sherry zing. It's like you've been tangled, like those old adverts for the Tango soft drink. I don't even know if it exists still, does it? I don't think I've seen it for a while. Maybe you can enlighten me on that. But it's like you've been it's like you've been hinged. It's it does on that first sip sort of grab you and give you that nice initial burst that just makes you want to dig in and get some more. So let's do just that. Sherry's still there. Just not as fruity. And I was going to say burstful in the year. I don't really think that's a word, but you catch me drift. As it was on the first uh, sip. But now it's becoming a bit of lemon. And it's it's mouth coating. And the mouth coating's a touch between a bit creamy and like a lemon sherbet type of feel which is really rather nice and now as it crosses the palate as it develops in flavour there's a bit of blood orange comes in but it's it's just like a zap and then it's gone and now I've got dark fruits raisin sultanas and they've been like soaked in sherry but, well, I say soaked in sherry, probably more like dipped for a little while in sherry rather than soaked for a long time. But the sherry influence is still there with them and it does help to bind them all together. And now, on the back end, there's coming a bit of barrel char, a bit of coffee, bitter coffee. Very nice. So let's go for a third sip and then we'll sum up. Now there's a bit more orange coming through on the third sip. And again, there's some lemon there, a bit of sherry, then lime. And that nice simmering warmth is, is still there. It's just not as significant as it was at the start, but it's still there. And for something at 43%, it's, it's not insignificant at all. And it is really rather nice. And again, now we've got some barrel char coming in there and some orange as well, like a dark chocolate coffee type orange flavour and I have to say it all together is a really very pleasing whiskey indeed. So to sum up, this really is a rather damn good 10 year old blended whiskey and I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it retails around f the 40 quid mark. Uh, it's not bad for an age stated whiskey, not a single malt but <coughs> It doesn't have to be a single malt. It'd be nice if it was, but the pleasure is in the way you enjoy it. And this really is a pleasing pour. And I'm really glad I picked it up. But I buy more, hell yeah, all day long. Really, really nice whiskey. And it does bode well for the future of the Hinch Distillery. And I do look forward to exploring the other bottlings in the range in due course. And I do have a sample of the five-year-old, so, I'll uh, get into that uh, maybe a month or two down the line and share my thoughts on that. Probably the one thing that I would have liked is a little higher uh, proof. You know, I'm glad it's not the base proof at 40%. Uh, but 43, it has a nice medium body, a medium mouthfeel. 
and quite a lot going on, but part of me just wishes that if it had been 46%, all those things could have been amplified a wee tad more. It would have made the finish longer, give it more depth, and therefore a higher score. But that said, it's still a damn good whiskey, and I definitely be getting some more of this in due course. So, with all that in mind, this will be coming in uh, as a very good whiskey with a score of 85. And I'd say I do really look forward to other whiskies to come from the Hinch Distillery and hopefully I'll get down there sometime in due course as well and get a look around the place and uh, see if they'll even let me take a few photographs in a video or whatnot but you never know uh, something to look forward to so folks thanks again for watching thanks for all your support uh, it's good to have you joining with me in my uh, whiskey journey my spirit you'll odyssey as i call it and it's nice to see the subscriber numbers increasing a wee bit quicker now and i'm, I'm approaching that 200 subscriber mark so please subscribe like share uh to spread the love get the numbers up over there because as i said once i get uh, over the 200 subscriber mark i'll start uh, adding in a few giveaways and uh, just as an appreciation for all the support you've shown me so and please also comment down below because it's always good to interact with you guys so that we can share our love of whiskey and you can let me know if you've had this what you what you think of it uh, and if you're local you know go grab yourself a bottle of this support local industry support local business because it's nice to see this resurgence and this resurgence in Irish whiskey even if I could get my tongue working right uh, happening right across the world with a big increase in sales and more distilleries popping up here particularly closer to where uh, I live so do support your local industry it really does matter and we really do look forward for what's to come from the Hinch Distillery. So, thanks for watching again, folks. Your support really does mean a lot to me. And uh, you know how it goes. Oh, before that, as I forgot to say, the links to everything to do with this video to the distillery and, and the likes is all down below as usual. So, you know how it goes. Until the next time, stay safe, look after yourselves, and drink your whiskey the way. You like it. Slauncher. Oh, that's not right. Let me take